Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another matcher that is to be null matcher. So this is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So we need to know about what is a null, when the null will be assigned. So we need to know that one. That's it. So we have learned in the previous video about this to be undefined and to be defined, right? So there is an another matcher that is to be null. If you try to search here, to be null, right? So let's try to search here to be null where it is yeah so to be null matcher so when we can use this to be null matcher the actual value to be null so whenever the actual value is null then we can you uh, for checking that whether the value is null or not we can use this to be null matcher so now let's try to see when this value will be null let's try to understand so the null value means what i can say is the null value means it is nothing but it is a absence of value so if there is any absence of value intentionally if you want to tell that that the variable contains uh, does not contain any value absence of value means then we can use this null option i will show you the clear implementation so when the when the variable we can say it as a null or when it is when we can say it as undefined i will try to explain you so if you go to the inspect element and if you console here so i will show you for example, in the previous video, we have seen about the let test. So here, the value of test is nothing but undefined. If you try to see, it's an undefined. So that means here, what we have did here, just we have declared the value and we haven't assigned anything. So we haven't assigned. Now the JavaScript or the DOM automatically assigns undefined value to the test variable. But here, it contains some value, something like undefined. But you, you want to tell that variable that, that, that doesn't contain any value. So the variable does not contain any value. Something like it's an absence of value. It doesn't have any value. So for that type of implementation, what you can do is test is equal to null. So you will tell that test is equal to null. So that means the, the variable, the variable test has nothing. So it's an empty absence of value. Now if you try to see the test, it is a null. So this is the main difference between the undefined and the null so here if you declare a variable test the javascript automatically assigns the value undefined but here test is equal to null we are intentionally mentioning that variable contains nothing so the absence of the value that is null value so it doesn't contain anything so for that reason test is null if you try to check the type of test here so what it will be it is of type object okay it's a different thing so this is the difference between the undefined and the null so undefined means nothing but javascript automatically assigns the value for that one but here if you want to intentionally tell to that one that variable doesn't contain anything means you can mention it using the null so we can use the to be null matcher to test that uh, to check whether the variable has null value or not okay so we can use the to be null way to be null matcher let's try to see it in the expectation so here i will be writing to be null right so to be null so i will be having it can overwrite total value something like i am checking something so total value can we override the total value or not let's try to see it so here same scenario i am instead i am instantiating the calculator object so calculator object i am creating new calculator okay so now in this new calculator i want to check expect or otherwise first what i will try to do is calculator dot total is equal to null so i am intentionally overriding the total value to the null so now let's try to see that using this expect calculator dot total so here we can check the matcher to be null so we can use to be null matcher here so that's it so now we are what we have did here we have instantiated a calculator calculator object and we have assigned they have override the total value to null instead of zero now we are checking that whether the calculator dot total the total value in the calculator has been updated to null or not we are trying to check it so let's try to execute so here if i try to see see the spec has been passed so can override the total value it is it is able to successfully override the total value so this is about the null matcher it is a pretty straightforward the null matcher so what it will do is it will just check the value whether the vari variable is null or not that's it so hope you understood about this null matcher so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you